Hi, this is Minister P. I'm leaving uh, the hospital. Um, I finally got to see our brother in intensive care. Again, I want to thank you for your prayers. Uh, he was not responding. Uh, the hospital kept saying he wasn't responding and they were hoping that he would respond seeing family and he opened his eyes today and he responded and uh, that's a beautiful thing um, he's pretty sick uh, he'll probably have to go to a more uh, 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 a, a higher level hospital to care for him now uh, he has a bad infection so we're going to pray for this infection to clear as he is uh, they tried to take him off the ventilator today a little bit uh, they're going to try to do a CPAT um, uh, he was able to maintain for a little bit um, because these are the, his wishes he's asking to um, have the tubes removed but again, like I said, and we realized talking to the doctors and the nurse today, uh, he was breathing three hours on his own um, by mistake of the ER and the avenue. The avenue somehow registered that he was just on oxygen, so on a mask. So when he came in, uh, like I said before, he they told us they were giving us bad news that he had to go on a vent which our little brother has been on the vent since august um uh, so they said that might have been some of the problem uh him not getting enough oxygen uh he was not responding yesterday but he is responsive today uh he opened his eyes he, he shook his head no he shook his head yes uh, he told us to keep fighting. When I asked him, does he want us to continue fighting? He said, yes. So continue fighting with him in prayer. Most of all, um, keep your prayers coming. Um, we keep watching miracle after miracle. To see him open his eyes again, we thought it was the end, but he is fighting. And he needs all of you to keep praying for him. Keep Keep praying. Uh, everyone in Africa, keep praying for him, your brother, uh, and 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 um, if, keep praying for this minister. Keep praying. Um, his love has always been for others. Now he needs others to love him and give prayer. Thank you, family members, for your prayer. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, keep praying, family. Uh, we got together. Um, we said all we've got left is prayer because it's all in God's hands. Um, they're keeping him on IV meds. Oh, and his heart rate is starting to pick up too. So that's a beautiful thing. So, uh, and we're very happy about that. He's maintaining his pressure. Again, another miracle. His his heart rate was only at forty. So I'm watching miracle after miracle. And one thing I told him tonight is that you are truly a miracle and you're letting people believe again. That is Kevin V. Freeman. Keep sending the prayers and the love to him. And God bless all of you. Um, I'm quite happy to see his eyes open. Uh, and actually I was even able to put the television on to keep his brain reactive and he was watching TV when I left um, I I have no words but thank you I know it's all about prayer PJ you are totally awesome you are totally awesome keep your prayer warriors praying too keep them praying I've never seen so many miracles. Him fighting for three hours to breathe on his own. He was breathing on his own without a vent. Low, but he was breathing on his own, which gave the hospital the idea to try to wing him again, which they had given up. So he's in intensive care right now, ICU. Um... He's looking really good. He was thirsty. I was able to give wet his tongue. Um, 
he's a little discouraged he'll have to go to a higher level hospital but he has a very bad infection uh, a bed infection you know sometimes when you lay you get a bed sore uh, and it's very very bad and the infection has gotten into his bones so we're gonna pray and we're gonna push that infection out of his bones the hospital can't figure out so many things they can't believe he woke up and opened his eyes just an hour ago I was with him he opened his eyes he answered questions his brain is not jacked up they said they thought that he they thought but you know what do they say about think you think about it and God will tell you a different way he'll tell you something else you think you're processing one way as they thought he was processing one way and God told them something else so um, let's just keep the prayers I'll be coming to visit him tomorrow as well um, just keep your prayers going uh, God bless all of you I just wanted to stop I'm just keeping y'all brusque he opened his eyes today another miracle they said he's been non-responsive for two days but when I got up there I kept talking to him he opened his eyes to both myself and Dion his little sister and he he uh, shrugged his shoulders he answered yes or no he told us when we said do you want us to keep fighting when you get tired when we asked him did he want us to keep fighting he said yes so the best best weapon he has and he believes in as a minister is the weapon of prayer keep your prayers going god bless each and every one of you and take care hi mary how are you uh keep praying for my little brother i mean he's been fighting this journey since august and i don't know he just keeps being a miracle the hospitals was like i don't know you know he's not waking up we don't know about the quality of life he opened his eyes he opened his eyes and shocked the nurse even when he opened his eyes and started trying to communicate no he can't talk too well because he's he's on the trach um, and he's very very weak so we're gonna pray for strength we're gonna tr pray for him to keep the faith because he got discouraged for a while he really did he he wanted to give up and it's through your prayers and your faith he 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 he's seeing miracles happen and he's having faith in God and I told him you're going God has a plan I don't know why you're going through this but the one plan that God has told me is to let people know he exists he can make miracles happen he is making miracles happen with your prayers your prayers with prayer their strength in numbers so god bless each and every one of you hi sweetheart hi mary how are you thank you for your prayers thank you for your prayers pj thank you for all your prayers keep him in your prayers tonight and father god i pray for all my family out there in facebook you see we're not only just a facebook we are people of faith and we know there is strength in number and strength in prayer we will never leave no one behind even though we cannot be seen we are his warriors fighting each and every day father i ask you to look over the families out there of my friends the families out there of my family I'm asking you to look over all of us during this crazy coronavirus. And again, a miracle happened because again, he's still testing negative to the virus. The hospital is in shock because he came in, They what the other hospital said, that he was positive. Now we know the virus does not clear up in five days. That was Thursday. Again, they tested him again. And he tested again negative to the virus. Now tell me even there, there isn't a God. Oh, Mary, you're sick. Father God, let us pray for Mary. I'm not sure what she's going through, but help her, th her, help her through these difficult times. Give her strength. Keep her in prayer. Everyone, I need you to pray for Mary as well. 
pray for Mary to overcome whatever is making her ill. Mary, you are not alone. I will send out a prayer for you on the prayer line. PJ, you hit that up too. Hey, PJ is the best minister you can go to. She's got her own prayer warriors. And she prays for so many people each and every day. So, PJ, I'm going to pray for you to, to let God keep you going in strength and faith and in prayer. We need people like you, PJ. You are truly a blessing. You reach out to so many people and send love and hugs to that cat you got there, PJ. Because he that, that baby is just adorable. Mary, I'm going to pray, Father God, to look over Mary. Keep her strong and keep her faith going. And whatever she's going through, pull her through the storm, Father God. Let a miracle happen with Mary. Let your will come on her and strengthen her and enlight her in so many ways. Father God, I know I get off the prayer sometimes because I get so much energy and renewity through you and when you tell me to speak up right then through the prayer i speak up right then when you tell me to look right then i look right then through the prayer father god look after carol and her family as well keep them strong keep the virus away from them keep them enlightening and keep them in faith father god father god look after all our family on Facebook. Keep us strong and keep us united and keep us in faith and let the devil not come and heave us and take control in our life because we know that we invite you and you keep our light going truly each and every day. God bless all of you and you stay strong and thank you for your prayers. I'm telling you, miracles happen. He opened his eyes today. And miracles are going to happen with you too, Mary. Let us all pray for Mary as well. Take care. God bless all of you. This is Minister P of Let's Pray Ministry. I'm getting ready to leave this parking lot. But I just wanted to stop and holler at you. And let you know miracles are continuing to happen. And I want to take thank Palmer Hospital for taking excellent care. The staff up there, excellent care of my brother and finding the needs that he needs. True enough, he has to go to a more acute care facility, but maybe this will help him clear. This infection will help him. Again, they're trying to wing him off the ventilator. <sighs> wow. Before, they said there was no hope, but they said by him breathing three hours on his own, they want to try it. So let us be in the prayer of that and see another miracle happen where they said he would never be off to even consider winging him off again. God bless all of you and take care. This is Minister P. Through the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen to all of you. Take care.